one and Good morning, FitFam. Thanks for tuning in on this beautiful Sunday. Today's guest has been a chef for over 10 years now, and her mission is to provide an unforgettable experience through taste and flavor. She has been a part of the FitFam for almost nine months and com has completed over 360 workouts. Since joining Fit Club, her determination has not only skyrocketed, but it has helped her transcend goals in her own life. Please welcome Jessica Sunika. Hi everybody! Thanks Neri for having me today. Um, we're gonna work on two Filipino dishes. Okay. Uh, they're classic dishes. They're uh, it's called chicken adobo and the other one is turon. It's like made with plantain and sugar and deep fried. So not everything is gonna be healthy today but it's very traditional. And it'll be extra yummy. Yes, very <laughs> yummy. Alright, let's get started on the chicken. Okay. So here you could use you could use probably a whole chicken, but I have chicken thighs because it has the most flavor. Um, dark meat always does. And then here are the original uh, like right before the tomatoes. This these are the original ingredients. So onion, garlic, bay leaves, peppercorn, and I usually the way that my mom taught me is with tomatoes to add more of like a sweetness to it, so it's not as like sour or um, tart okay and then that's it oh and then also we have uh, soy sauce vinegar I just have everything pre-mixed because I like being prepared I okay. always come prepared just like when I'm at fit club so then what are the portions that uh, so have? the portion rate I have here is equal parts vinegar so one cup or sorry half cup vinegar and half cup of soy sauce okay and then I usually taste it to see if it's like too sour or too salty mm -hmm. and then if it's uh perfect i'll add a little bit of water because we're gonna cook it out for like about 20 minutes okay because it'll evaporate mm -hmm. so these are the main ingredients for chicken adobo over here and then just like a quick recap for turon this is our plantain this is what we normally use for um our deep fried banana basically banana egg rolls um, just want to show you guys what it looked like because usually people use like regular bananas but plantain has more of like a depth to it um, and then you have egg roll wrappers here those are my favorite ones <laughs> this one here yeah right here okay <laughs> which you can find in the Asian aisle at your grocery store yeah and then um, just have brown sugar and regular sugar we're gonna dip the bananas in them, roll them, and then deep fry them in oil. And that's what we have for today. Okay. Let's start with the chicken. Yes. Uh, I just need a cutting board. Cutting board? Okay. I have a cutting board here. Do you need a knife too? Yes. I'm just going right. to wash my hands. Sure. I'll put the cutting board over here, actually. Twenty second rule. <laughs> <laughs> I washed my hands already. <laughs> so Jessica, tell me, how was your first workout? How was? Tell me the, that experience at Fit Club. Uh, my first workout, obviously, I was just doing it for my mom because she was like, Jessica, it's time for you to do something about your looks. <laughs> but. Obviously, I knew that it was time for me to make a change, mm -hmm. so I came in with an open mind, open mm -hmm. heart, and I just, like, oh, it's garbage. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, make sure that we weren't, like, doing wasting any time. Okay. And when I came in, my first workout was good. I wanted, like, I was, like, hooked from that point. Okay, great. So. And you've been a member ever since? Yes. And it's been nine months now? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. And so do you and your mom always work out together? Or is this, um, um, or do you go on your own when you can, when you have free time? Uh, usually, at first I needed my mom all the time because mm -hmm. she was the one who like motivates me and like just like every day. But now, like her voice is stuck in my head. <laughs> 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 so when I cut the onion, it's not like too... It's not too small or too big. It's medium size because it's going to be cooking for a while. Okay. Anyway. And then for the garlic, 
But yeah, just going back to the workouts, I've been I've been religiously working out six days a week now and trying to do two workouts a day. And how much weight have you lost in the nine months? Uh, so far, I've lost 45. 45 pounds? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I didn't know it was 45 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't, obviously, I don't see it all the time because mm-hmm. it's just me. But I, yeah, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> and you should be. Yeah. All thanks to FitFam and <laughs> their motivation and keeping me in check and keeping me accountable. And it's just like also the people and the vibe that you get. Right. right. It's not, I always tell, I always tell my friends, like, it's like a party in there. Like every Saturday, I'd rather be there than at a, an actual club nightclub. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and the feeling's the same. You always feel great after. Of course, yeah. It's like you don't, you don't get a hangover. You get a better high from like, you know, being happy from working out. You've done something with your morning instead of just eating a heavy breakfast. Right, right. <laughs> Say hello to Blessing, Jane, and May. Hi, Blessing. Hi, Hi Blessing. Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, May. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Great work today. Hi, Kathy. And then here, uh, I'm just going to get these washed too. Sure. Is there anything that I can do to help you? You can probably start um, with the pan. With the pan? Okay. Put some oil in it. Should I start the chicken? Uh, we'll do. We'll saute the garlic first and the onion to get all the flavors and aroma out. Okay. And then we'll add the chicken. And just put it on a medium heat. Yes. All or right. actually, we'll do high. We'll do to, high. Yeah. Okay. Get the ball rolling. Okay. So the pan's ready for you. Thanks, Nary. You're welcome. I miss. I miss like just. Hanging out with the crew. <laughs> like, Have you attended our Saturday workouts? I wanted to yesterday, but I got like, I was really super overwhelmed with all the stuff that's been going on in the world. Just mm-hmm. and like, I want to see my family, like my blood family. Right, <laughs> right. So I planned like a, a mini workout with them too. Okay. Okay, so right. I'll bring this here. Okay. So I have it on medium heat for you. I just put olive oil on the pan. Oh, okay. And then you have a spatula. Yes, I do. Got a few. Here you go. So I just like put the garlic in right away. This is my first cooking show ever. Oh. <laughs> like on it. Famous. Oh, on live. Yeah, yeah. On. We're live, Jessica. I know. Say hello to Manette. Hi, Manette. <laughs> so how often do you eat chicken adobo? Because I've only had this about, I think, once or twice ever. And I remember eating it. It was very, very savory. And I had it with over rice, actually. Yeah, it's always good. Anything is always good over rice. Oh, yes. You just feel um, so comfortable after. You just feel so happy. So, like, the tradition of chicken adobo was to preserve, like, a lot of the meats that they have in the Philippines. Because... Cause it's so hot there and like it was just their way of like being able to um extend the shelf life of chicken mm-hmm. or like pork or whatever mm-hmm. so like a lot of stews and like um soy vinegar based dishes were like that okay um a chicken adobo i don't i don't usually have it every day just because like of the salt content oh in the it. salt but it is a, it's like it feels like home whenever mm-hmm. you have adobo because you could like, if yeah, my mom used to make it all the time with like pork or my grandma and stuff like that. Um, they or they just do it with. Uh, they also have an alternative which is called asado. Okay, yeah. what's that? That one has more sugar content. I it. see. Okay, yeah. but you don't even have to use chicken for this adobo. You can use pork, like you mentioned, yeah. or can you use any other protein. Uh, we could usually. My favorite adobo is. It's called poset. It's called it's squid. Oh, squid! Yeah. <laughs> so I love poset adobo squid is the adobo. best. <laughs> Everyone always like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best because it's like um, I don't know. A lot of people always think like that. I'm the super like fancy chef when I just like I love like all the raw like 
weird ingredients. I see. Yeah. Well, who doesn't like squid, right? I like squid. Oh, like yeah. It. It's such a good, it's such a good There's protein. Oh, no. It's going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> and I just add the tomato to uh, release the juices and then get it ready for uh, the chicken. Okay. Because once all these flavors are released and you add the chicken to it, it'll infuse while you're cooking. I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, when I used to, when learning like in chef school, mm -hmm. they would always just like start with protein or like boil it out and mm -hmm. then, I don't know, just, it's just, that's the basics. And then whenever I would like experiment at home it's always like okay what if I try this or that mm -hmm. or like why does this happen and it's just that's how I started eating a lot and that's why I had to go to fit club <laughs> <laughs> well when you're a chef you're always tasting right yeah you're right and did you always know that you wanted to be a chef or how did you get into cooking um it was actually my mom she it wasn't just like helping her cook in the kitchen mm -hmm. I was she wanted me to be a nurse first <laughs> everyone every parent <laughs> want their children to be nurses <laughs> and um, I was like I don't know I'm not helpful enough or like I don't I just I feel like cooking was something that I could escape to and like mm -hmm. actually explore you know my passion we can add the chicken now okay right here here, I'll, I'll pass this over to you. And these are just chicken thighs. Yes. Bone in? Yes, bone okay. in. Bone in. And so I get it right in there. And here, at this point, we'll just add bay leaves. My mom calls it laurel, because <laughs> that's what it, I guess it's called. And so I heard bay leaves don't actually add flavor, but it helps tenderize the meat. Is yeah. that true? Yeah, that's true. And also, um, I've added it to a lot of like my pickling liquid, and it has more of like like a you know eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. Like it, it just adds more like digestion and. I see. <laughs> Kai wants to eat already. <laughs> and peppercorns. I know it's whole. But that's the traditional way to make it. And then we'll add our soy vinegar mix. So again, it's half a cup of vinegar, half a cup of soy sauce with some water. And I pre-tasted it first before I did it. And, and then now, we just let the saute? Yeah, we'll just let it cook. That's just good. Do we need a lid for this? Yes. Yes? Okay. I can grab a lid. And how long will this cook for? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes? All yes. right. We'll look back into it after. Just put all this stuff in here. Put this away. And now it's dessert time, right? Yes. All right. Dessert time. <laughs> My favorite. Okay, so we we'll need a plate. A plate? Okay. Normally, um, it's just white sugar, but I find that when I add brown sugar to it, it uh, has more depth. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I always experiment, and mm -hmm. I'm like, man, just regular sugar, just boring. <laughs> so that's why I do half and half. And you can even like play with play with it. I usually add like cinnamon or like nutmeg or whatever you feel fancy it up yeah <laughs> i'm all about the eccentricness of food just always thinking out of the box i see okay yeah. and then also can i get another cutting board sure We're cut this thanks mary you're welcome so um, just I just want to show the plantains like how it looks like because it does not look like a regular banana. But these ones you'll have to cook longer, and these ones in the bag they save a lot of time like they're already pre-cooked. So all we have to do is cut them, 
So what is the difference between this one in the bag and then the fresh ones here? So these ones are already steamed. They're pre-cooked. Oh, and they're smaller too. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And there's, they're nicer to wrap. Got Whereas it. Whereas these ones, if like you want to go more traditional, you can use these. I see. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. Just more time efficient. Right. And who has time, right? <laughs> yeah. So just cut them. RJ can't have these. Nope. He's allergic. To bananas. To banana. To bananas, yes. These ones. I personally like egg roll wrappers, so I'll du I double wrap them. Oh, you <laughs> double wrap them. That's how you get it so crunchy. Yes. Okay. Happy birthday to Jesse. Happy birthday, Jesse. I hope you had a great day. Did you wear your tutu today? <laughs> I think I think I saw him wear the pink tutu yesterday at the workout. It was his yesterday. Oh, oh, I see. Oh. Yes, yes. Congrats on your first child. Happy birthday! Congrats. Jay wants to know if you're adding jackfruit. Yes. Yes. Right here, Mama. <laughs> you know it, Jane. Okay, so what are we doing here? So we're coating the the uh, the plantain. plantain in sugar. Okay. And. I like to let it sit for a bit so that the sugar absorbs. I see. And 46 people online. Oh, Whoa. wow. 46. <laughs> How many should we make today? You're going to have one? Oh, I, this Can is my favorite. Much, right? Oh, we're, yeah, make, make several. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let, let's finish the whole package. You might as well. <laughs> Anyone want to come over? <laughs> yes, come over if you're hungry. <laughs> Having a Tehran party. So you, you wrap it or you soak it in sugar and let it sit. Yeah, I let it sit. All right. So that's how you have that nice caramelly yes. sauce over it. I didn't know that. Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. Do you have an egg? Yes, I do. And this is to seal the, the wrapper? Yes, it's just to seal it. Okay. And how many eggs do you need? Just one. Just one? Please. Yeah. Sure. I can beat that for you. Thank you. So wrapping it, I do it. This is the only part I don't like about egg roll wrapping. Okay. It's separating that? it. What is that? It's, a, it's an egg roll pastry wrapper. Oh. You buy it at the store? Yes. Vietnamese store or Young's Trading. Okay, you know, I can assist you. I can unwrap these. Okay. Thank you. Blessing wants to try this. <laughs> Blessing, come. <laughs> Blessing, you're in for a treat. So when I wrap them, it's diamond shape overlap. And I take banana, wrap it once. Oh, yes. Forgot. Okay, I have a can opener. Extra sugar. I'm just too excited to be here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're welcome. <coughs> is, this, is this supposed to be chopped or you just use it whole? Um, I just use it whole. Okay. Okay, I will get these ready for you, Jessica. Thank you. So I usually usually just put two, but this will probably just be mine. Okay. Because <laughs> I like extra. So wrap over, and then that second piece will come, and then this way. And the egg. I did not know you used two wrappers. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I was wondering how it was so crunchy when I tried it before. Because I've had some that were soggy, right? Yeah. But yours was just so crunchy. And that's it. And that's it? Yep. Wow. Okay. I have some here for you. We can try. Oh, you want me to try? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll try this. Yes, sure. Yeah. Okay, I think I was paying attention. <laughs> you had okay. two wrappers like this, 
Um, I've never done this before, guys. <laughs> and then you take this. Yep. Over here. Uh, if you want extra sugar. Let's put extra sugar. Yes. I like it extra sweet. Okay. And then jackfruit. Oh, jackfruit? Yes. Um, and you put two in yours? I just put one and then I like, I... Oh, you broke it? Yeah. Okay. There. All right. Hey guys, <laughs> let's see how this turns out. Yay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Nice. Wow, look at that, guys. Just around the edges over here. Yeah. I think it looks beautiful. Look at that. Wow, this is my first time. <laughs> okay, let's put these on a plate. Yeah. That was actually really fun. I always find like when you're doing like one on one things like this, it's like you like discover things that you didn't think you could do and then you're just like, cool, another one. And oh yeah. Actually, I, uh, I've never rolled, well, this is my first time rolling the, the plantain, but uh, as a child, what I would do is always watch my mom make egg rolls. Yeah. So I hated it as a child. I really did. <laughs> but as I've gotten older and um, I've eaten a lot of egg rolls, I've appreciated how much time it took to roll egg rolls and how much time it took to prepare everything because it really is time consuming. Yeah. And this is the time you, like, you can, like, hang out with your friends or like talk <laughs> exactly <laughs> and catch up and then after you have food on the table that's ready to go so I noticed that you had you unwrapped two do you have to unwrap it like that or can you just have two that are stuck together two of these wrappers that are stuck together um, like this or so is it too thick I've tried it with just doing a double wrap because it was by by mistake mm -hmm. and it doesn't fully cook I see. That. Okay. Yeah. So then you have to unwrap the two. Yeah. Okay. Got it. I was trying to think of a shortcut. <laughs> Sometimes, um, yeah, if you're in a rush, I'll just do like half. That's why I was like, oh, if we're not doing the full batch, then you don't have to open all of them. Mm -hmm. But you guys want to eat it all. <laughs> Well, you've come to the Padua household, and <laughs> we like to eat, including Jerome, too. Uh, here. So when you're here <laughs> in Neri's kitchen, you're feeding three for sure. <laughs> Can I get um, the stove started for us, then? Yeah. Okay, so it's just a pan of... The oil is over here. And this, this pot's okay? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's do that. What's our chicken adobo there? Yes, how is our chicken adobo? I'm going to wash my hands. I'll check sure. it. And how much heat? Uh, we'll go start at medium. At medium? Okay, I have it on five. Say hello to Pauline. Hello, Hi, Pauline. Pauline. It looks great. Yeah, do you flip it? Um, yeah, let's flip it. If you guys out there have tried chicken adobo, please comment below. And let us know what you think. Oh, sorry. Do you have another spatula? Put it in there. Oh, I'll just use this. Okay. I'm going into the kitchen now. Usually, whenever I go to other people's kitchen, I just try to not go into everyone's drawers. Nope, do it. Make <laughs> yourself comfortable. I'm going to make more of these um, turdon. Yeah. Because it was actually quite fun. <laughs> I'll turn it down just a little. Oh, my stove is fancy. Okay, yes, so which one? Is it this one here? Yeah. So we just touch the button here, and then we can turn it down over there. Yeah. Did you want six or five? Five, yeah. You just have to make sure that the dot is at the burner here, and then Whoa. you... Yeah. It's so high tech. Everyone doesn't <laughs> want to use it. Here I go rolling again. So Jessica, how often do you make turon at home? Um, well, I used to make turon like every day because it was part of like where I worked. 
um, at a Max's. Right. But um, I like whenever people ask me to do it, we used to do like tiny ones and they're like bite sized ones. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just because I was trying to be health conscious too. I and see. Like trying to uh, watch what I was eating because I was challenging myself mm -hmm. and like wanting to do turning um, regular foods into like healthy options or okay. healthy alternatives. So. Right. But like, there's no way that you can't not have like good sugar in it. So well, then... I wonder if you can use um, a baking stevia or some sort of yeah. uh, stevia brown sugar blend, if that would work. Have you tried that? I haven't tried it yet, no. Okay, that's something maybe on part yeah. two on Neri's Kitchen. Yeah. Just we will let you know if that works. Turning everything healthy. <laughs> oh, but just deep frying it too is hard. Deep frying this? Yeah, because like you can't not deep fry it unless we baked it. Have you tried baking it? I did. It's not good. It's not good? It's well, not. Like frying it in coconut oil. Okay, yeah, we can do that. But does coconut oil, can it go really high? Like the temperature on high heat? Um, I haven't tried, but I've tried avocado oil and it could go to high heat. Okay. Yeah, so avocado oil is a good alternative as well. Awesome. Yeah. And we'll just, I'll finish this. Enjoy sure. the rolling there, Mary. <laughs> I know. It, She's, good. She's I, the best roller. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I've never rolled banana before, but like I said, I've I've done egg rolls before and I'm pretty fast. <laughs> and I like to have them all uniform. Yes. Because presentation well, means a lot. Video, apparently. Oh, geez, I'm it. Where? Kai Kai. <laughs> Hold on, pause. Just sound. Oh, it's just Being sound? Uh oh, technical difficulties. <laughs> Hang in there, guys. We're still on live on Neri's Kitchen. We're still here. We're still here. Kai, man, chill. Always have to be back. Oh, we're back on. Okay, perfect. I think I need more sugar, Jessica. Yeah. I'm Thank gonna make some more. Thanks, Marilee, for letting us know. Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm on TV. <laughs> Jessica learned from the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Before she came, because I I slept over at her place last night. She was so excited. She's like, "Okay, I'm making your bed." <laughs> I live in in like Osborne area, so she like come. She the only time we were always together was before COVID and she'd pick me up to go to the gym in the morning but then we can do this soon and go to fit club. Jessica how much oil do I put? Um, let's put more. Put so, more? Yeah. Tell me when to stop. You can go just oh, the ball of it? Yeah. Okay. There. That's good. And what kind of oil are we using here? We're just using good old canola oil. Canola oil? Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get that started. It's on medium heat, mm -hmm. and then we'll continue rolling. Okay, sorry, what were you saying? Oh, I was just talking about, can't wait to get into the gym. Hi! Hi, Atalu. So what else is your favorite Filipino dish, Jessica? My favorite of all time is caldereta. Oh, caldereta! It's not sinagang. No. I always hear sinigang. That's, yeah. That's Jerome's favorite dish. Sinigang's everything. Sinigang is life. <laughs> For those who are wondering what sinigang is, it's a tamarind soup. Uh, you can put any any protein in there. Which which one's your favorite? Fish. Uh, I like fish. I like adobo. I mean, I like uh, the pork sinigang. Pork. Okay. I like. What, what, what sinigang have you made this week? Uh, fish sinigang. What fish. kind of sinigang? Uh, it was the picker. Mm. Yeah. I think we need to have Jerome on Neri's oh, Kitchen yeah. because he always talks about Sinagang. <laughs> and that's his name. DJ, oh, DJ, is it? DJ Sinagang. <laughs> DJ Sinagang. DJ Sinagang. Yeah. It's good. Tamarind is healthy. It's yes, healthy. it's good. If you guys would like to see Jerome on Neri's Kitchen, please comment below and I'll see if I can get this arranged. Please comment. <laughs> <laughs> He's our little dancing teddy bear in the background. <laughs> I am enjoying the online 
videos though. Good. They're so entertaining. <laughs> and even when the gym reopens, we will still be having the online videos. That's good. I the think that's 15 for sure. That's a good um everyone's gotten so used to doing the home workouts now and like if that was to stop, I think people would just be sad. That right. Okay, is our oil ready or not yet? This is how I will check. Okay, so how do you check? Oh, you actually take, I take one and then I like, and if it's not sizzling, it's not ready. Is it sizzling? No. No? Okay. When I was in chef school, they'd be like, I'm like, how do I know if it's hot? They're like, stick your finger. Is it hot? Stick your finger in the <laughs> oil? Yep. In chef school? Yep. Oh my goodness. Jane says she likes to shoot sinigang. Yeah, sinigang is. Or dinigang, sorry. What's, Ooh, really? What's dinigang? Can you tell the Dinigang is pork blood. It's anything cooked in pork blood. So there's a certain way you need to cook it or else it'll coagulate while you're cooking and won't be as good. But when I make it, it's very good. Usually it has pork and pork liver, but you can obviously put anything into it. Like you could do, um, you can even do squid, didn't go on, because that's my favorite. <laughs> says, anything squid. <laughs> Atilu says hello. Hi Atilu. Manette says she misses you, DJ Sinigang. <laughs> oh, Manette. Hi, Manette. Hello, Manette. Thanks for watching, DJ Sinigang. DJ Sinigang. DJ Sinigang. <laughs> okay. So, have you guys tried uh, corned beef Sinigang? No, I have not. Uh, try that. Pretty good. Everything Sinigang, hey? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Jerome's favorite food. All I hear Jerome talk about is Sinigang. And I'll say, Jerome, what did you have for dinner? Sinagong. And he'll even send us photos of his Sinagong, I swear. <laughs> That's how he got the name. My favorite Sinigong is shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah. I think I've only tried it with the pork. Pork, yeah. Pork, pork is food. the common one. It's not. Uh, I think I'm going to turn up the stove higher. Sure. It's on five? Yeah. You just want to make sure you touch it? And then you... You want seven? Mm -hmm. Kai. <laughs> so what are your favorite dishes to make, Mary? Um I'm not Filipino, so I don't make a lot of Filipino dishes. Yeah. Were you talking about Filipino dishes or oh, in general? Any, anything in general. What do I like to make? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's a tough question. I really like simple things. Mm -hmm. I don't like to make dishes that take a long time because mm -hmm. I, who has all the time, right? Yeah. What do I like to make? Um, oh, I don't know what I like to make. I make so many different things. I, but I always make the basics. The um, first thing that pops into your head. Okay, what I make, honestly, I make Neri's bars yes. every day. I'm Signature. not going to lie. Signature. Do you, do you guys copyright that yet? I should, but you know, I'm, I'm always um, trying to switch up the recipe. I'll try new protein powders. Mm -hmm. And um, lately, I've been doing my low-carb versions because mm -hmm. RJ has wanted me to use less and less carbs. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> he, he thinks he got a little bit soft from these bars, but we're also in quarantine too, right? Yeah. So, um, and I make these all the time. I've actually come up with um, a recipe where it's half the carbs as it was before. Oh, that's good. So if you'd like to know the recipe, comment below and I can do a Neri's Kitchen on my lower carb Neri's bars, which are very tasty. Okay, this is like, so I'm going to add some of them. Some of them? Okay. I think my favorite thing to make is honestly probably egg sandwiches. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, that's so good. Egg sandwiches. And I don't even eat a lot of egg sandwiches, but the boys and RJ, they, they enjoy my egg sandwiches. And um, so I've been making sandwiches lately. I'm not going to lie, but they're extra tasty. What, um, what do you like to put in them? Just like the basic recipe or do you narrow it up? 
I don't, um, okay, what I do is, okay, my son really, really likes bacon. Jet loves bacon. So I always cook bacon. I always cook a lot for everyone. And then I have my eggs and egg whites, and I put lots of extra cheese on the sandwiches. And then I, yeah. um, I grill both sides mm -hmm. with butter. So it's really yummy because yeah. I like butter. Yeah. I really, really like butter. So lots of butter. So it's like <laughs> a grilled cheese pretty yeah. much. Oh, wow. That's... And who doesn't like grilled cheese? Right. Grilled cheese is... I know Rick Manter likes his grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> and a bowl. Okay, I think we're almost done with the turon. And you don't want to overcrowd your pan, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I've actually seen some people, um, when they're rolling theirs, mm -hmm. they would add sugar on top. Do you yeah. add sugar on top of yours too? Um, I like to keep, well, because I put extra sugar in it already. Yeah. And um, when you add more sugar on top, it compromises your oil. Oh, so then I see. it burns it and you can't cook as much um, as Got you it. can. It does because then your oil burns. Yes. All right. And then they're like, why is the, this part not as good as the first batch? And then you're like, because we put too extra much sugar, sugar in it. Okay, well, we're not going to compromise the oil. I've already added extra sugar. <laughs> Whoa. Jerome's excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. He actually asked me if I was excited prior to this a few days ago. And I said, of course I'm excited. Is this your favorite one? Yes. Tyrone's your favorite? My daughters. Your daughters? Yeah, my daughters love it. I like, I, know, I like changing it up too. Like I use, sometimes I use mango. I, I do mango pies at home. Oh yeah? Yeah. Like Jollibee mango pie? Yeah, but better. <laughs> it's always, it's always like, oh, I could do that at home, but I could do it better. Because I like put my, my heart and soul in it. And that's how you are supposed to cook, with your yeah. heart and soul. And if you just with throw love. things together and not care, then why would you even eat your food, right? That's true. Would you even enjoy cooking if you don't I, put your heart and soul? Like... <laughs> oh. okay. okay. So I just want to cook them till they're golden brown. It's just, it's darker because of the sugar. But I have this ready to drain the oil. Look at that, wow. <laughs> I have some more ready for you. Okay. And how is our chicken adobo going? We're gonna check that in a moment. Okay. Wow, look at that, yummy. Okay, you check on the chicken, I'll put some more. Okay. I lowered the heat so that... Sure, This I rolled these. Look at that, wow. Can I put one more in there or is that two? Yeah, okay. I put four. You put four? All right. Just so there the oil we rises go. a little too. Yeah, that looks good. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, it's starting to fall apart here. Probably 10 more minutes. No more pink in there. It's just the sauce. I like, yeah, so when I make calderetta, the first time I ever tried calderetta was in the Philippines with goat, and it was spicy. Oh. And it was during, it was during Christmas season, and um, the goat was outside my house where we were living, and I was like, oh, that goat is so loud. And then they're like, we're going to eat that later. So you were born in the Philippines? No, I went to visit the Philippines. Oh, I see, okay. And then when I went to... It's, it's always obviously when Canadians visit the Philippines, it's like a special occasion, mm -hmm. and they bring out, they put out all the stops, and then yeah, they're like, I'm like, no, that goat is so loud, and then and they're like, we're gonna cook him later, uh -huh. <laughs> and then my one of my cousins was sad because they were, were gonna eat it, but it was good because he ate it, <laughs> they ate it too. I think goat has more of the um, 
like it's a, a different game. taste. Yeah, it's very gamey. It tastes yeah. um, has more, um, I guess, earthy. Yeah, if that's it's how you like, describe it. Is so this ready to yeah, turn? Yeah. Okay. Can you just wash this one. Oh, I can wash this one. No, no, you don't. I have another one. Okay. Um, I think it's over here. Let's see. I have to hide all of my um, utensils. Oh, because of Kai. Because my son plays with all of them. Oh, oh there it is. is. I have a big one, just in case. And just turn it over. Yeah. Let's right. watch the splash back. Yeah, washed. Oh, there we go. And that's oh, a good that's color. Like a nice color, yeah. I'm so excited Beautiful. to try this. And that's what you want, that nice golden color. I don't make desserts a lot, mm -hmm. other than my Nary's bars. Mm -hmm. But every time I see this, I just want to make it all the time. What is, actually I was curious, what's your favorite protein powder to use for your bars? Because I've been using a lot of like, there's times where I can't get to Gorilla Jack mm -hmm. or like get to the gym and get vegan. Okay. So like, that was my, my all time favorite. But what's your favorite? I can show you, this okay. is what I use. This is my favorite. Uh, Ooh, okay. It's called Power Away Complex, and I purchased this from Gorilla Jacks. Mm -hmm. And this is the one I've been using for like the last five years. I use this for everything. Nice. So I use this a lot. Also, um, where's the other one? I use this a lot too. Ooh, also okay. purchased from Gorilla Jack. It has a sweeter taste. Um, they're all pr uh, whey proteins. Mm -hmm. This one I find is a little bit stickier, but mm -hmm. I do enjoy this a lot in smoothies. Mm -hmm. But for baking, I always use... Oh, my power away one. So those are the two main ones. I find that uh, the vegan ones are a little bit more difficult to use mm -hmm. with baking, but it's still very tasty. That's RJ's favorite protein, the caramel vegan one. So we put the cooked ones on here. Yeah. Okay. That's good, because I was like always curious, because your bars are always so, um, they're very consistent. Yes, yes. And like when I, I, I always, yeah, like I said, I always experiment, and I'm like, man, this was a waste of protein. Oh, no. <laughs> if I don't end up eating it, I'm like, no, why? And you see, I never, we never waste protein yeah. powders. We use every single one. Okay, I'm going to check the taste of the adobo now. Okay. 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 This is still going. I'll watch this. And what protein powders do you use? I just I got into the Beyond Yourself one, the vegan ones. I see. Okay. I don't I don't like. To me, I just like I, I don't um, what is it called? I like just letting it set in the freezer because mm -hmm. I like a lot of cold desserts. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when I used to work at Boxies, I would prefer my brownie cold from the fridge and then just eat it from there. And they're like, you're not going to heat it up. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I like it like this. Mm -hmm. And you see, you know what? I don't mind it cold either. I think when dishes are cold, it has more flavor. You can taste it. Oh, yeah. That's good. good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's a little sour. Like, I always taste it, but I like sour. I don't think this is the sour that you guys would enjoy. So I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to downplay the, the sourness and tanginess of it. And it's already salty. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Okay. But the garlic and the onion is there. Super good. I'll switch on um, you know, I think this needs just a few more minutes. Um, it's golden brown, but I'd like it to have just a little bit more color on the other side, just so it looks the same. I think it just needs another minute or so to fry, and then we should be good. And this is almost done as well. Usually we serve adobo with rice. Which I made a pot of rice. I have my mini <laughs> rice cooker full of rice already. I don't. We don't eat rice very often in our household, yeah. but when we do, we enjoy every single grain. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, so um, traditionally in the Philippines, they do what's called ulam, which is like rice topping. So every time we go to like my cousin's house, I go, what's ulam today? What's the ulam today? And then it's like either like adobo or like sinigang, which is also ulam, um, caldereta, kare kare is good. Another one, it's a peanut stew. That one takes a little bit longer to make, It's but it's a delicacy, I feel, because there's so much rich flavor in it. I think this is done now. Oh, I know. I'm drooling already. I wish you guys can smell this. 
I have rice. I was prepared. I made the rice. <laughs> another batch for throw on Mary let's go I know I'm ready it's the last last batch nothing goes to waste here yes jet <laughs> <laughs> kids in the background they're so cute well, the boys will love this right yes oh yeah they're not allergic to anything no no, no they're they're that's not. good not that RJ. I know of. only RJ <laughs> there we go he can have Mary's bars he can have Mary's bars exactly <laughs> How's it tasting? It's <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. You can try it if you want. Okay, sure, yeah, I'll try it. Excuse me, Gerald. I'm not too sure how it's supposed to taste. It's like a, it's a soy vinegar breeze. Okay. How much longer does it will it need to take? Um, it's I think it's done now. It's done now. Yeah. Oh wow. Very flavorful. Yes. That's Yummy. why we always have it with rice. I see. Okay. So then let's get a plate ready with rice. Oh, we used everything. Okay. Okay. I'll get the rice ready. Just gonna clean up a little. That way we can let our viewers see. The adobo. I'm just gonna turn this off. Sure. Just press off, right? Yes. I'll let you plate this, Jessica. So uh, I'm just gonna actually put it in here. Oh, in a bowl. Okay. And this is how we eat Philippine style. <laughs> um. You can use. Here. I'll give this to you. <laughs> So we always put everything in another bowl with a serving spoon. Jarrell says hello. <laughs> My brother. He says he loves the gravy. <laughs> oh, the gravy. Okay. This is a different kind of gravy. And if it doesn't fit in there, we usually leave it for later. And then... All of our Filipino clients are joining us. <laughs> Melinda oh. Muscles. Melinda Muscles, thanks for jo joining us. And... Oh, look at that. There we go. Okay. Spoon, fork. Oh, make it look pretty. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have to have the bay leaf. <laughs> Boink. My hands are clean. <laughs> Are you ready, Jessica? Yeah, I'm gonna turn this quickly. Sure. I don't want it to burn like the other. Are we gonna try it now? Oh, of course, yep. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> I'll get another spoon. I'm using okay. so many dishes. That's okay. I'll help you wash them later. Okay, so I usually take some sauce, mm -hmm. or I'll take this. And put it over the rice. Okay. Whenever my cousins or my family watch me eat, they go, Ang sarap means like you look good when you eat because it <laughs> makes it look appetizing. And then I take a piece of chicken. Okay. And then make sure you don't eat the peppercorn. Just put it to the side. Linda says, those are really masara. <laughs> what does that Very, mean? means? Very delicious. Very delicious. <laughs> masara. Masara. Okay, I'm just do it right here. Okay, I'm going to try it too. Mm -hmm. So, the color is a little off because I used low sodium soy sauce as well. So good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it has a nice sour taste. You can taste the soy sauce, the sweetness, and the tomato really adds a lot of flavor too. Yeah. It's really yummy. That's from my mama. <laughs> my mom Thanks, me. Marilee. <laughs> okay, now for dessert. Okay, try it. It's always hot, so I'm gonna take one from the bottom. Let's see. Mm hmm. Drum. Yes. Drum. <laughs> what it is. I have one. <laughs> oh my flavor? goodness. What's, what's the first mm. bites? The crunch. Mm -hmm. 
And that sugar too, the brown sugar that we added on top, oh, it really makes it sweet. Yeah, sure. This is all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fresh, fresh. So Very good. Fresh. You guys should see the smile on Jerome's face. <laughs> it's good with ice cream too. Oh, with ice cream! Oh, wow. Yeah, ice cream. Oh my god. Caramel. Ube ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Ube oh my ice goodness. Cream. Oh my god. I have to try ube ice cream. Thanks so much, Jessica, for no joining problem. me on Neri's Kitchen. It's been a pleasure. I had so much fun. I'm going to make these later. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to learn how to make these. Mm -hmm. I think, Marilee, you're going to be my taste tester, along with Jessica, too. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye, guys. So 